Good morning everyone from a gloomy England but your day is always bright when this lot are running around like madmen. Barkley has woken up with a real spring in his step. <laughs> so before we head off to farmhouse we are attempting to give them a bit of a run around until the girls arrive. <laughs> <laughs> more daddy, more, <laughs> more daddy. Good boy, Porty. More daddy, again, again, again. <laughs> It is just gone seven o'clock and we are heading to the farmhouse for a workout. This is gonna be my first workout since getting ill. And um, I'm a bit nervous, but also looking forward to it. We will then have breakfast, pick up our sourdough. I'm trying to think whether we'll have enough time to have a, a sauna because I absolutely loved having the sauna the other morning. Um, fingers crossed, I've got my swimsuit, I've got my clothes everything in the boot so off we go it feels very autumnal today I'm not gonna lie and my outfit is very autumnal as well <laughs> look at these colors trees are starting to turn workout is finished and I just did a really lovely leg session and closed my workout ring as it's just told me. So now to get ready for a sauna for 10 minutes. This is my swimsuit. It's from, I think it's from Ibergé. I used to have a belt with it but the belt didn't fit me. I would love like more swimsuits just like this, really plain but bandeau like this in different colours. Um, this is kind of like a purpley navy blue um, but it's just simple it's easy to put on and it's comfortable and it doesn't give me like a quadruple bum which <laughs> yeah <laughs> finished up in the sauna and i popped this on my head to see if it could keep my hair like dry um because i'm obviously very warm and i can't be bothered to, to wash and dry my hair i just want to have my big acai bowl so now to get ready for the day well, the theory mostly worked. My hair stayed dry and I'm able to just top it up and just go and do my makeup in the um, dressing like area. So this is what I'm wearing today. It's my green shirt dress from the shirt company and I've swapped the belt out with my Hermes one. I've got my Ralph Lauren pumps on. Let's get the makeup on my face and head for my acai bowl. I'm so excited. As usual, we've got our bakes Bakes, Blake's Kitchen, uh, fresh white sourdough. This is honestly the best. Do you know what's the best thing about it? What? The fact that it comes to this. Yes, oh my gosh, they've got a machine that slices it all up for you, which means that you obviously don't have to spend hours like um, cutting it yourself, but- I think you get more out of it as well, because they're nice They do really slice. thin slices, yeah. yeah. But also we ordered, um, some sourdough on our food shop and it just isn't as good like they're just never as good so this one is really like chewy but soft whereas sometimes sourdoughs can be quite tough um but this is definitely the best one so whenever we can we pick one up it kind of incentivizes us just to come for the bread basically <laughs> i think that's balance as well <laughs> next we are off to nicholson's the garden center ali's actually never been um so we're going to have a mooch around we have a meeting about our garden design because it's been going on for six months so we're hoping today that we're going to like get everything finalized everything wrapped up um so that hopefully work can come because we've ordered our patio and um we want it all to just kind of, we just want it to, to get started now basically. But the thing that's holding everything up is the design of our, um, of our gate walls. We're just trying to see what the best, the best option is to 
not obviously spend an extortionate amount of money on it because obviously we tried something, it's not worked, it's not held up, it's not lasted. So we don't want to keep pouring money into these walls, but we also do want it to look nice and complement the house. So it, it hasn't been easy, but hopefully today is going to be the day because we've come with ideas that we can put on the table and hopefully, hopefully we can sort of wrap it up. But these projects take a lot of time and they've taken a lot of my time as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to hopefully moving forward. We have arrived to probably one of the most beautiful garden centres I've ever been to. Look at that. Beautiful. I'd live in a house that looks like this. It's so beautiful. Like I love a wood clad house. I think that you should get a bird box like that for the garden. Imagine that on the side of the house. It looks so cute. In fact, you could put that one, mount it on the side of the house above the wisteria on that side. It would look really pretty, wouldn't it? How much is it? £190. Oh, I think it's lovely. I reckon the bats would like it too. Yeah, no, I like that one. I like it here. Now that I've seen it in person, I think that's nice to go on the steps and in the patio. But definitely those ones. Yeah, I like the, the lanterns. I know she suggested them, but seeing them in person, they actually look really nice. Oh wow! Look at their um, sun lounger beds. They're gorgeous. Look how beautiful that is. That's so nice. Yeah, I love this. My God, I'd so do something like this instead of um, like the, the sets. You could do something like that. How lovely is that? I love the little embossed leaves. I love this table as well. Ugh, imagine finding a table this beautiful and this size. It looks like the Nicholson's toilets are having a bit of a re -zhuzh. I absolutely love these sinks on this like workbench. But I've just gone to go into this toilet and a couple of weeks ago they asked me to send pictures of my downstairs toilet. And this is the biggest compliment ever because they have such wonderful taste here. So this has made me feel very, very, very happy. I love the way this looks but I've also fallen in love with the wallpaper in here. So I'm gonna to have to find out where this wallpaper is from because it's so beautiful. It reminds me of Bertioli, but this is more, it's a cobnut, which I know that um, Bertioli has done a cobnut wallpaper and um, fabric, but this is just gorgeous. And I love the color that's been used, but this is really, quite similar to what we've got planned for our guest bathrooms. I can't believe that, that's literally like, <laughs> that's such a compliment, isn't it? Beautiful Barnaby Gates wallpaper down there, if anyone's ever wondered. This is where our wallpaper's from. <laughs> So we've actually just finished up our meeting at Nicholson's and this was the area where we ended up having lunch for our meeting and I have been very inspired by this little apex here because obviously our home is very very uh, intrinsically linked to um, vegetable gardening and things like that. I love all of these antique tools like if yeah like if this on the the wall of the apex just mounted like this I just think it would be so lovely, but this, these are little private dining booths that you can come and have your lunches or your dinner. The food here is incredible, absolutely incredible. And the thing that I really loved is they've got the um, the woodland fairy, I think they're called woodland fairies, but these, I used to have all of the books as a kid and they've got all of the different ones, like the song of the dogwood fairy, the song of the wayfaring tree fairy. Like these were the things that I just loved as a kid. I used to make my mum draw me these things and I would color them in. 
but what has just been reminded to me is I need to get the watering can. Would you have four ponies screwed up against the wall? <laughs> you have a very naughty sense of humour. <laughs> yes, but no, I do like this like that idea to just make a bit of a feature of that back wall, that that wall that you see through the glass. Yeah. I think it's really lovely. It looks cool. Yeah. I like the shadow. It's been great from the chair. I know. Yeah, very beautiful. Yeah. Very very beautiful. Right, let's go pick up a watering can because all of my watering cans are leaking. I literally don't know what happened. I wonder if it's like the the feed that I'm using to, to feed my um, veggies, but it's just, it's got a hole in it. So I need a new watering can. Those chips look really good to be fair. Little chipperoo. We had a very, very productive meeting and I got a new Kent and Stowe watering can. I get the galvanized ones because when they stop working or when they get a leak in them, I still keep them. Um, because they make really nice decorative pieces for like dried wildflower and things like that so or you can pop a little sort of thing of water inside them and put real flowers in them if you wanted to or you can just use them as decoration around the house so i keep them um so i get the galvanized ones so that they age really nicely little tip but i have come home to the most beautiful delivery from every story so one of our dishes by our bed um it's actually from every story in fact two of them are from every story there are little trinket trays and they basically sent us an email and i went and had a look at their stuff and i ended up placing an order but they also sent me basically extras so i ordered and paid for um i think eight yeah eight pasta bowls um, because I thought these were brilliant. They really complement our current dining set like super nicely. They sit contrast. Let me show you um, in my little dinnerware. I love dinnerware, by the way. One day I'll have a beautiful little dinner display cabinet. But they just look, because this is quite clean and polished. It's all, that all of our dinner set is by um, independent uh, British ceramicists and I thought that this looked really really lovely because we also have these plates so they go super nicely together this is their sort of flecked uh, pasta bowl and I loved that they were all irregular and beautiful like that so I thought that was nice then I got some beautiful like display trays for like um, charcuteries and crudités things like that some more little dish like serving dishes this will be great for like carrot sticks and things like that or little canapes again another little dish for canapes this I fully intend to put in my dressing room this is the most beautiful trinket tray ever it kind of looks like um like a pet like a flower like a little flower head um it is so gorgeous i love the finish of this as well we also got another tray ali loved this tray it's got like a little roll to it but again you can put serving things on it and i just think it all works nicely um these are a set of nesting bowls as well i thought for little you know bits by side bed like the side tables in our guest rooms when they're decorated it'll be nice for people to be able to put their jewelry uh watches etc etc and then the mugs of all mugs mugs how beautiful are these we actually like Ali wasn't sure to begin with and then he had his coffee in it and he was like oh my goodness those are my favorite mugs and again these are a bigger version than our current mugs if I grab one of those et voila so we have two different kinds but yet they all sit in synergy they're all in these earthy tones um this can be for more of like a like a shorter coffee um these would be perfect for big mugs of tea and big mugs of hot chocolate um in the winter time i just thought that these were stunning um so I, again i ordered eight of these but we were topped up essentially and we have a few more which is brilliant um we've got 14 pasta bowl dishes which i don't think i'll ever do pasta for that many people but you never say never we can have some in storage as well um, but like i said i place an order and they've um, obviously sent me some bits as well which is incredibly kind and it's just lovely because i just think that their stuff is beautiful all handmade in the uk and everything is just irregular and beautiful and i 
yeah, I was hook, line and sinker, so I wanted to leave these out to show you. But I am going to have to file these away. Obviously, I've had a bit of a, a clear out in my uh, kitchen cabinets. So we've got space for these now, now and all of our odds and ends in terms of mugs and things like that can all be sorted through as well. What else do I have to show you? Um, not a lot, to be honest, but it's really good because we've got our final... Oh! <laughs> slightly embarrassing <laughs> but we've got basically um 99% of our oh okay <gasps> guys what is this ah oh my gosh these are my order <gasps> what is this oh my gosh okay wow okay I've got sorry I wasn't expecting this <gasps> I can't wait to open this <laughs> Um, sorry, I was saying that um, we've got 95% of our garden design finalised and fingers crossed, work should be starting in the next few weeks. I can't believe I'm saying that. It's been such a long road. Our garden is very difficult, so we've, we fully appreciate that we've kind of been trying to like join up the ends of our garden to make it really beautiful and I honestly... I think that we have achieved it. Our garden is beautiful. We are incredibly lucky in the, the plot where we are that we have this wonderful like woodland that surrounds it and this beautiful old wall. And we, we, we really wanted our patio and the things that we use the most to reflect how beautiful um, it is as a location. And so we've been working away and scurrying away and it's been a lot of work to get there, but I honestly think that we've done it. The design for the patio, I'm so excited about. You have no idea. We were finalizing it today and it was so funny. I walked around and they had these wonderful um, canopy trees. And I said to Ali, I was like, oh, do you know what? Putting them around the dining table outside would be such a lovely natural type of like shade. And they had wisteria ones and they had um, some other trees as well. The one that we've gone for is um, a beautiful kind of like it like blossoms like with white blossoms and I just think it's going to be so so lovely there's going to be things climbing up the the house and obviously the new stairs and the new patio the new patio I'm so excited about because we've gone for the same type of of floor as we have in our kitchen so it's really gonna like marry up I'm just so excited I really am and I'm so excited for work the only thing we haven't finalized which is still a design that we're kind of working on. We've got a guy coming out tomorrow. Actually two things, but I believe that we're gonna have them finalized really soon. One of the things is our gate walls that have been a conundrum from the beginning. If you don't remember, they were rendered and then they were clad in what we later found out were bathroom tiles that hadn't been sealed. So as soon as we, we moved in, they were falling off, the render was cracking, it was just, it wasn't great and then they had I think like a, a slate tile as the pier cap and it was just kind of you know they'd done it on a budget and I take my hat off the, to them for that but it just was never going to last and it also really didn't work in the the area so we've gone in and we've tried to sort of patch it up so we've rendered the whole thing and at the 11th hour the guys that were rendering it talked me out of doing a stone coloured render and this is one thing that I need to get better at. And I really do think I have got better at, but standing my ground when I've got a design in my head. And so it's never really looked how we wanted it. It was sort of like a that will do that cost a lot of money. And then we've had around about four delivery drivers hit our walls in the process. And we've also got massive cracks now and so what we've been trying to do is to figure out whether we're going to clad them not clad them but slip them in beautiful Cotswold stone slips and bricks and things like that or we are going to knock them down and rebuild them whatever we're doing we're shortening them because they are incredibly long and I think that's one of the issues why people keep hitting them first and foremost um, but yeah, so we're still in a design process for that. And then on Wednesday, our outdoor kitchen designer is coming to um, have a look at where the outdoor kitchen is going to go. This is going to be such a beautiful like piece. 
to the garden with a really beautiful brick built pizza oven and it's just going to feel really wonderful and in synergy but what I'm really excited about is the planting plans that we've got going in. All of the plants that we have currently are going to be reused everywhere um, because we're adding so much more in the way of borders and um, planting so I'm really really excited about this and it's just it was such a great meeting where we had the most wonderful food oh my goodness if you haven't eaten at the yurt at Nicholson's the food is incredible if you're thinking of like if you're if you're a Soho farmhouse member and you want the next level of dining because I believe they're in the Michelin guide um go to Nicholson's Oh my gosh, I had the garden vegetable soup, which was delicious. Ali had the, the cheese souffle, which I seriously got food envy of. The chips, oh my goodness, everything smelled amazing. So if you if you were thinking about it, they actually have something on tomorrow, which we were gonna go to, but we've we've got our um we've got a day with our friends at Soho Farmhouse, so we can't do it. But genuinely go there and it's also so inspiring as you would have seen as I walked around there was just so many things that I was finding really really inspiring we've got basically a huge amount of wildflower being added in front of the kitchen garden within the wildflower we're going to have some topiary trees which I love topiary trees I don't know what it is about topiary trees but I love them <laughs> take a shot every time I say topiary trees um, but we're also having these beautiful iron structures with roses, Desdemonias uh, from David Austin that climb up and just billow over. It was, oh, honestly, I'm just, I'm really, really excited for this to just happen and just to see the garden look so incredibly beautiful. Anyway, I have some boxes here and I don't know whether I'm going to get into them. So, Obviously you would have seen that I bought my Carolina Herrera wicker bag and the Carolina Herrera team saw that and got in touch. And um, one of the things that caught my eye, and this is so funny because on a, a video a couple of days ago, somebody commented saying, Lydia, if you like those skirts, you will love the Carolina Herrera taffeta gowns. And I already had one on its way to me. And so tomorrow, I'm not going to do it now because it's been a long day. Tomorrow I'm going to get into this box with you in the morning and show you what's inside. I don't know, there, there's supposed to be two things. I'm not sure if they're both in there. The dress was made at their atelier for me and I honestly, this is the shirt, gown, taffeta dress of dreams and I cannot wait to show you this. Then, this is, I fully blame em Emily Cannon for this. Um, I saw her wearing this aloe yoga dress on her TikTok and I bought it in every colour. I'm not certain on the sizes at the moment, but it just looked brilliant. And then in here, I bought myself some shoes that um, I have in two other colourways and I love them so much that I um, decided to get another pair. Oh, can't quite work out how this box works. But So this is a matches box, but I'm going to wait until tomorrow because um, I'm feeling a little bit bedraggled. Whenever I sit in meetings and things like that, I always look a bit bedraggled. And so I'm going to enjoy a calm, chilled evening um, ahead of tomorrow where we're finally doing the day that we were planning to do before I got unwell. And we are taking our friends, Josh Lumbay, Josh and Caitlin to Soho Farmhouse for um, an evening of food and drink. The weather's looking really lovely. I don't know whether we're gonna get by the pool or not. Um, it's not the warmest and today it was 17 degrees and I was cold. There is something about being at Soho Farmhouse. It's always colder than everywhere else in the Cotswolds. So that's kind of a bit of an update really, but what a wonderful day. I also wanted to show you this bit here. Um, obviously I've not painted the easels yet and I think I need to shorten the uh, string on these easels because they are quite far back. But I've popped one of my um, originals from Lena on uh, this little table here. I don't know whether it'll stay there, but I love it. All of the tones just look so beautiful. I might get it up on the wall, I don't know. As you can hear, my small, small sausage, because this sausage is now smaller than Barclay. You are the small sausage, because Barclay weighs an entire kilogram more than you, and he's only eight months old. You are the smallest of the small, and you are the chunkiest of the small. 
smally smallies, but happy tails nonetheless. Thank you for showcasing exactly how much bigger Barkley is than you as well. Oh, look at cry babies. You want mummy to come back to the sofa. So I will see you guys in the morning. What a wonderful catch up for 14 minutes. Honestly, someone commented the other day, Lydia, you do talk a lot. I was like, I do, don't I? I don't know why I talk so much. I've just got so much to tell you, to be honest. I hope you don't mind. I love chatting with you as well. That's the other thing. I always feel really bad <laughs> when someone says, oh, you do talk, talk a lot. I'm like, oh God, I'm sorry. Um, also, before I go, 15 minutes. This was where we were thinking about adding some of the um, antique soil sieves, some antique gardening utensils or something like that. Carrie has just added some um, really beautiful uh, wooden, I think they're like bread paddles or something to the wall in her kitchen. And then seeing these ones at Nicholson, these, the, the gardening ones, obviously, as I said, when it was there, it lends very much to the ethos of the, the house to have maybe potentially some gardening tools. Who knows? We'll, we'll sort of play it by ear, but it's just an idea. I love going places where I'm inspired. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning if Ali doesn't come home and do something fantastic that I want to vlog. <laughs> we are just about to go to bed. And as you saw in the last vlog, Ali has been making dens for the boys. He is perfecting the dens. And this is tonight's for both of them to enjoy and sleep in. We, <laughs> we are just getting ready for bed. In fact, we are ready for bed. Um, I love the fact that I told you I was gonna stop vlogging earlier, but one of the things that Ali and I don't like to do is we don't like to go to bed before Lumi is in bed. It is just the way that we are. Um, obviously, I spoke about it in my last video that Lumi runs things, and she really does. And um, we were just doing the last, like, sort of few rounds of things that we do before bed. And I said to Ali, I was like, open the window. And he was like, no, no, it puts me on edge. I was like, open the window and she will come. <laughs> and he goes to the window. He's like, oh goes to the window, opens it, and, you, and he goes, Lumi? And all you hear is that. <laughs> Open the window, and she will come. And she's come. So she's ready to go to bed. You coming up, Lummy? Good. She might need food, actually. I know, I fed her. Lumi, come on. Come on, lummy kids. She's been busting my balls recently, literally. She sleeps right in between my legs. Yeah, she's, she goes through phases with who she sleeps with. And she, at the moment, she is just not having it when it comes to sleeping with me. She comes over and there is some, I think it's probably the, the remnants of COVID that she's not happy about. Yeah. And um, she comes over and she like gets ready to settle down, but swiftly changes her mind and goes straight over to Ali so yeah she's not she's not in the mummy phase at the moment but anyway she'll be coming to bed soon apparently Lumi is in crazy mood you coming up Lummy <laughs> you're in crazy mood <laughs> She's in a playful mood. She loves it. This is the kind of mood that if your foot is out of the cover, yeah, you're getting gouged. Mashed up. <laughs> yeah, mashed up. <laughs> and then all of a sudden she'll just settle. But I love it when the little cat ears go forward. Good morning everyone. It is Saturday and yesterday we spent the day at Soho Farmhouse with our friends. Obviously I didn't take you with me because no filming at Soho Farmhouse in like that capacity. We weren't using like the gym. I didn't have like a private room or anything. So um, we went there by taxi. There were six of us and basically had like, we arrived, had some nibbles, had some drinks, went for a look around, had some ice cream. I was so upset because I went to go to Blondie's kitchen, they have these like pop up, um, what they called like food vans at the moment. And Blondie's kitchen 
was sold out. <laughs> I think I might order some online. Apparently you can order it online, so I'm gonna try and do that. But we had ice creams from Mrs. Whippington's and then we went and had dinner, more drinks. It was lovely. Got home about half 11 and it, it was really lovely. And also good for us because we left the dogs for a couple of hours and I think we got into the habit of not wanting to leave them and always getting like puppy sitters. And in actual fact, it was good for them. It's good for them to get used to not having us around because obviously we work from home. We're here all the time. We don't want them to get separation anxiety when we do go. And they did exceptionally. I'm wearing my green dress from Amazon. This is from something for the stars, reach for the stars, something from the stars. Um, I love this colour, it's very creasy, it creases really easily, but I just love the, the sort of shape and style of it, it's just really lovely. I don't know if I'm going to try and like tack it though, I've got this little micro tag thing that I could tack it, but anyway, today we've got our friends Alex and Sam coming over, and you would have seen them on my channel before, um, they recently had a new baby, baby number two, and we haven't met him yet, so we're going to meet him today, and we're basically going to do food. Now, I was about to go outside and get the dining table outside prepped for having lunch, but it has just started raining. <laughs> so maybe we'll be eating inside. Either way, we'll dress the table, but I need to go to the kitchen garden to get some carrots and some cucumber for some crudités and um, a good sized courgette to make risotto for us. I'm also going to make a um, courgette like, it's not like a frittata, it's like a phyllo slice kind of thing. That's what I'm calling it. I don't really know what the technical term is. It's kind of like a pizza, but on phyllo pastry. So I'm going to make that as well um, with courgette, mozzarella, cheddar, herbs, that kind of thing. Uh, tomato, yeah. So I'm going to be doing stuff from the kitchen garden, but I'm not entirely certain when I, whether I'm going to have time to actually bake a cake as well. Maybe I'll have to do that when they're here. But we're very excited to meet the newest addition. Um, and just we're just kind of making up for all of the lost time when I wasn't well. Um, tomorrow, I'm very excited. We've got a sausage dog walk uh, locally and I've wanted to go to a few of them and I've not ever managed to go. And this one I am really, really excited about. So I think we're gonna take the boys to meet some other sausage dogs in the morning and then we've got lunch at a local pub, which would be really lovely as well. So we're just kind of doing all of the socialising, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, because we missed out so much when we were poorly. So just making up for it, basically. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing today and I am gonna get cracking in the kitchen, I think. Just checking in on my Moneymaker tomatoes. Still no red ones but we have so many coming through. Like, look at this whole cluster. It smells incredible, but no juicy red ones just yet. This is the little kitchen garden hall, complete with my phone. Uh, some carrots, a cucumber, and a courgette. I might get another courgette. I've got these big ones that have turned into marrows, which I'll use for some chutney in a couple of days, I think. Already getting to use my little selection of new serveware. I love the contrast of this. Nothing too matchy, just a beautifully crafted, handmade dish with an accent cabbage bowl like that. So you put the hummus in here or the dip and some little vegetable crudités around here. Then I can add some meats or whatever. Perfect. So the heavens have opened outside. We've just taken the cushions mostly in, but I'm setting up the table ready for everyone to arrive. We've got some prosciutto, some cheddar, butter, carrots from the garden, cucumber from the garden, sourdough. Hummus will be obviously popped into there. 
Um, I've gone for, I'm actually using my every story little serveware bits that I've got. We're having risotto, so we've got our pasta bowls out for that. Then we've got plates, obviously, because we're having, um, you're crying. Hello, Schnoodle. And then these little picky bit plates. I've gone for the fern print napkins from Bertioli, which are lovely. And that will just be a little picky bit to start. Nothing. You crying because you want to go outside? It's raining. Although the sun is coming back out. If it does get sunny and it's warm enough, I will move everything outside. But for the most part, this is the table setting. Just had a little bit of an error. I didn't take the um, pastry roll out of the freezer. So I've just done that now and stuck it in the sunshine. But I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> I know I haven't opened the other boxes with you just yet. These are the black and navy version of my white dress that has been my most worn dress this summer. I think it is. Yes, it is. <gasps> This is going to get worn so much. I love the navy version. Ah, oh, such a great colour. I'll steam them and attempt to try them on. Sadly, the white one has sold out, but to be honest, I wore the white one so much and it got so mucky that I actually think these black ones and the blue ones are wear actually like a bit more out, I think, but it looks so much more expensive once it's steamed. It's got such a great amount of fabric in the skirt and it's just, I might even change into this, you know, because I've not tacked this yet. And um, I'm worried I'm just gonna be worrying about my chest falling out here, there and everywhere. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to wait for the pastry to thaw so that I can roll it out, make the, um, I'm just gonna call it the kitchen garden uh, pastry slice. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually the name for anything like that, but so that I can prepare that so that it can then go in the oven and be ready to eat when the risotto is ready. So we're going to have risotto, fresh sourdough and a, a sort of pastry slice thing. But I love doing this so much. I love having people over at ours. It's so nice. I popped the black one on because I don't know why I was just instantly drawn to the black one rather than the navy for today maybe because it's not quite so warm and i'll probably end up put, putting a cardigan over the top of some sorts but yes very happy with this it fits the dream and just looks fantastic love it She's getting a little makeover. Yes, a little bit of lipstick on your, in your schnoozle. You do the, do his powder? No. You do, you, you need oh, to file just... his nails some more. Oh yes, I love my, my nose that big. Yes, Cordy, <laughs> look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I think a doggy. <laughs> no, get a doggy. Let the doggy see. <laughs> little powder schnoot. No, my... Oh, little boop the schnoot. <laughs> Is he licking at himself? Body's like <laughs> totally down with having my makeup done, thank you. <laughs> you see yourself now? Oh, he wants more. Should we put a lipstick on? Oh, you're literally best friends. <laughs> uh, I'm all down. You're, you're all done best now. Friends. No. Oh, he's had so much fun doing that. Oh, you're giving me some hand cream, thank you. Um, and put it on Portaline. Yeah, okay, Porty. Good job. Well done. Got to protect him from that hot sun. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> Mommy, help. That's on my shadow. Ooh. I think, I think this green will bring out your oh, eyes. Oh, yeah. It's looking I beautiful. Do you you want to do it? Okay, gentle. Yeah. Yes, well done, well done. Oh, all done. All done. Oh, this How is much literally... did the salon cost? Three. Yeah, where is, this is very cool. No, that... No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll have you know that Auntie Lydia knows a, a few things about makeup and it's beauty. It's true, it's true. She'll teach you many things. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh the salon is now closed. <laughs> <laughs> it's closing time. Little Dutch salon is closed. <laughs> 
So our friends have just left and the carnage ensues. There is so much to tidy up always whenever we host, but it is exceptionally worth it. But the table is back to normal and I think that Mr. Millen Gordon would like to watch a boxing match this evening. So did you have fun with little Laurie? Porty and Laurie became best friends and Porty had a manicure, pedicure and some makeup done on him. You are very good. You get very excited around children, I must admit. I've never ever seen them like the way that they get around children. Like they never they never do anything like in terms of like um fighting or anything aggressive. They just are so so excited by children. It's actually crazy. Crazy puppies. 